Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me this evening. Earlier on today, I did a video about Lee Anderson and a letter he wrote to uh, Yvette Cooper, the current Home Secretary. Here is that letter uh, on the screen for you to read. You can actually go to my earlier video. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can uh, hear, hear what he actually wrote. Now, what it was over was a, an earlier social media post that was uh, attributed to the Home Office and their ex account, which was this one. More than a thousand arrests related to recent public disorder. Arrests, it's a very ambiguous statement. Who was arrested? What for? Were they criminals already? Did, uh, was any check done? Why, why are they being called criminals when they've not been tried yet? You know, there's various questions that Lee Anderson basically wanted answers to. So I thought what I would do this evening is run through some of your comments that you made on that video, and we can see what the general consensus of opinion is. So let's have a look, and uh, let's have a discussion. Okay, Mick Cocker. Lee, pretend you know, don't know me. Anderson couldn't destroy a tiramisu. No, wait, he could. You're not a fan, huh? Uh, oldie Janna, they labelled them criminals and they haven't even been tried yet. This is the thing, isn't it? I mean, this is the this is the point that people are getting to with the whole justice system where you're getting people which should rightly be prosecuted, tried and imprisoned for things that they're still walking around, yet Joe Public in other places are, you know, getting fast-tracked through the system and you look at the complete chaos that everything you know, is now in as a result. It's not good news at all for anybody or our safety come to that matter. Uh, Graham Taylor, time to expose the devils from Davos in the government. Civil servants too. I think both of them are the problem there, aren't they? Uh, Paul Kelly, Andy, try to get Lee Anderson on. I'm not sure uh, if I could pull that off. I'm really not sure. I'm actually going to a, a reform meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock locally uh, to me, and hopefully I can get a little bit of footage and everything from there. But we will uh, we will see what happens. You never know what the future might bring. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? Uh, Richard Steeper, 30p Lee, is building an army, apparently. Musk wants civil war in this country. Shut up. I saw a tweet earlier uh, trying to demonise uh, Musk, and I thought, what the hell? Andy Peters, I'm liking Mr. Anderson more and more. One thing I like is he says it how he sees it, uh, which is quite refreshing with our political discourse. And he, he kind of got some level of notoriety when, when he was a counsellor. When he blocked off a, a camping site, he didn't want people coming back to, I think, massive concrete boulders or something. And he did get in a spot of honor for that. But, you know, again, he did what he said. Uh, John McCannon, uh, Boris Johnson, not even in government anymore, you numpty. I'm not sure what that's about because we're talking about Lee Anderson. Uh, hell is here. Uh, from other lands, Lee Anderson should be our Prime Minister. I think, you know, we need more people in there that are going to speak up and stir up a hornet's nest, don't we? That's for sure. Martin the Hun, innocent till proven guilty. That's the law of the land. Again, that is the point, isn't it? Uh, Fred Hunter, what about the migrants attacking police and damaging police vehicles, running around with knives and other weapons? Are they either being deported or imprisoned? Again, that's where it's backwards. There is a there is an amnesty. And again, I did a video on this on the channel earlier, which you can see, uh, where they're saying that if you turn over your zombie-style uh, blades or weapons by a certain time anonymously, you can, uh, you can get compensation. Well, they'll just go out and buy another one and then run rampant. And yet again, the police don't seem to want to do anything about it. Hmm? I mean, I had a conversation the other day with a, a member of staff at a police station, and they said that a lot of the coppers these days are very, very young, and they've never seen any real trouble. 
and you know you put them in in that kind of firing line but how are they going to act what are they going to do are they going to leg it who knows but uh it, it's not good all round uh max Perry, home office giggle 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 biggest joke in years uh loonies nazis she's a loony very very dangerous woman to the uk she works for the wef and look rock all pure evil look in her eyes she sold her soul well uh, you know the, there's a big uh intertwining between our elected representatives and that isn't there and people people can see it well, Ard 67, I think this government is really risking a huge freedom of speech movement breaking out. What really scares them is that people unite. You know, when you look across the pond to the French, they'll kick off at a moment's notice over anything. We tend to be a slow burner. We, we take it and take it and take it and take it, and then we can't take it anymore. And that seems to have been what's been occurring over the last few weeks. And if they push this thing about freedom of speech or, or trying to suppress the same, you wonder where it'll end. It's uh, not great. Again, not great. Let's have a look at another one. Uh, Albert, it's not just Cooper. Sir Neil, <laughs> I love it, was saying... Uh, they would be convicted before they were even arrested. When, uh, Whenever you hear about any wrongdoing, the police, politicians, the media, journalists, interviewers always take the precaution of saying allegedly when referring to possible crimes, even when it is blatantly obvious and there could be no possible doubt. Where is the allegedly in these cases? Yeah, and... Even when somebody's banged to rights, they still call them the suspect, even though it's obvious they had a part in it. But I see exactly what you're saying in this instance, definitely. Uh, Jeff Martin, have grave concerns that the judiciary is no longer free from pro political instruction. You have to wonder with the speed of the whole thing, don't you? Uh, Brian, she will never answer his questions. She just ain't smart enough, so we'll bury her head in the sand. Pathetic. Truth be known, she'll probably just ignore his letter. Ebel Media, I'm sure it was unintended, but it reveals the contempt they feel towards the anyone that goes against them. Yeah, and as I did in a video earlier, uh, you know, when Starmer went over to Northern Ireland and spoke to them, kind of used the ist thing again, didn't he? You're an ist because you're not towing the line. So offending an entire... An entire nation there. Mm -mm. He's not doing himself any favours. Uh, could you please investigate the Labour Party to see if any of them have shares in the South African companies receiving oh yeah, vast amounts of money from British coffers? As I read, they have sent nearly £6 billion British pounds sterling to South Africa to help them clean up the air. Does any member of the Labour Party or immediate family members have shares in any of the companies in South Africa that are benefiting from this massive amount of British people's money? That sort of talk's been going on for a long time, hasn't it? I mean, they have to declare their interests outside, don't they? And you wonder if they, they're declaring everything. Uh, Carl Swift, uh, by naming all those arrested as criminals, surely... That would prejudice a fair trial. Yeah, I agree with you. Innocent till proven guilty. Now, the woke lefty home office has apparently been judge and jury and class them all as criminals. Someone needs to be held to account and all arrested to have the charges dropped. You know, there's one thing that I haven't made uh, public knowledge on this channel. I've actually been summoned for jury service which will be in November. I had to defer it because of work. And, they, you know, that's the way it should be. You should sit there with a jury of your peers, listen to the evidence, listen to the charges, and make a, an informed and determined decision as to what the outcome is going to be. You should be tried by a jury of your peers, not in some kind of five-minute kangaroo really fast court. That's not how it works as somebody said to me the other day. 
Uh, yeah, but, 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 Wayne, I have not heard or seen uh, what the Labour Council have got for shouting on a mic. Yeah, I've not either. I've been keeping an eye on that. Uh, talking about the far right, and I also know about that Muslim, the police officer with a sledgehammer, or that immigrant who pushed the man on the train track. Uh, they're what's causing the chaos in Birmingham and attack one person outside a pub. There's video of that going around. Also an attack on Sky News van with a knife. Uh, not heard how many got arrested for carrying dangerous uh, weapons standing outside, uh, which we all know a police officer said, put them away back in back in there, and I won't uh, ask about the Muslims, about the police at the airport. They're still walking around as far as I know. We all know they've not been charged yet. God, there's so many that don't get mentioned. But if you are British, then you will hit the headlines for posting something. Anyway, Starmer, no inciting violence here. Just asking questions, even though you don't answer them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there was a piece of footage, wasn't there, a little while ago where he was asked directly, now everything's calmed down, will you allay our concerns? And he said, about far right thugs not cooperate in prison whatever and didn't answer the question pathetic we need more than that uh chris kangaroo uh comes to mind with this labor lot and their so-called socialist court system everyone being convicted should appeal to the human rights act that uh it's designed for to stop another tyranny have we forgotten what the nuremberg trials were for to stop the road that leads to the same thing that happened 90 80 to 90 years ago those that force tyranny justify at the time that they are fighting tyranny in their eyes just as the last lot did in the last century yet the ones they were fighting were just normal folk I can also remember people saying that the next Nazis or Stasi communists will not be in a uniform with jackboots, it will be a man in a suit. No, I can see history repeating and the importance of history, which they are trying to destroy now. There's two things on that, isn't there? Uh, you know, Section 10 of the Human Rights Act, we're allowed freedom of expression without state interference. And you've got the uh, Freedom of Speech uh, Union who are actually saying that they'd be prepared to cover people's legal costs if they got into hot water. So, you know, there there is help out there, I think. Andrew Stringer, Home Office, what a joke, needs to change. I think it, well, it's all that system, isn't it? I think it all needs to change. Uh, Bingo Belt, uh, how do we know that 1,000 arrests are even real people? Or are they just paid actors again, designed to scare us all into complaint? Yeah, it's, it's a possibility. We're, we've seen that sort of thing, haven't we? But again, allegedly. <clears throat> I think there's something funny going on. This is Wayne uh, on these kangaroo courts because all you see is a judge reading out the suspicion and then finding them guilty. You don't see any lawyer or anything. And everyone so far, as the judge has said, has gone guilty. Even, even uh, now you see no one pleaded it or heard or, or one saying it, they do go guilty. Have they been told that even if you go not guilty, you'll be found guilty, but with a bigger punishment for pushing a wheelie bin or for shouting names? Hmm. Peace and love all. That's a good point. Uh, I think in America they'd call that a plea deal, wouldn't they? Let's have another couple. User, well done, Lee Anderson, for highlighting two-tier policing and two-tier justice for these people. Calling them criminals from the outset is illegal when many have no criminal records. And we've seen retired police officers come onto the uh, mainstream media and say it's been going on for years. No big secret. Uh, Robo, the Home Secretary needs to be reported to the Criminal and Justice Authority pending an investigation into interfering with and attempting to prejudice a proper course of legal process in this matter. In the meantime, she should be suspended from all parliamentary activity until that investigation is complete. Uh, and if found to have prejudiced legal process and the legal rights of the, those detained citizens, removed from office forthwith, and any proceedings regarding this social media post be dealt with immediately. You know what? In the large, I agree with you completely, but you and I both know none of that is going to happen at all. That's the 
whole thing with the system, isn't it? Look, we, we've gone through those, and you're all pretty much on the same wavelength. You can see it for what it is, and by and large, what the hell is going on? And, you, you know, it, it really is worrying, worrying times all around. So there's a selection of your comments. As I said, go back and check the original video. I put that in the uh, description below so you can have a look. Thank you very much, everybody, for your support for the channel. Very much appreciated. If you haven't done so, hit the like button on this. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Share me on your socials. And with a bit of luck and a following wind, I'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff for you. Until then, doodaloo.